Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more CK3 Blood Eagle. Playing as Sigurd Snake in the Eye of Ireland and soon enough, Scotland, actually, if all goes according to plan. We did smash up probably our only real uh, challenge to the north of England when we took down our brother, or rather our brother died and we pounced upon his corpse. Now Wessex is the only remaining threat in the British Isles. Once we deal with them, everything will fall into place. That said, I would like to also just go ahead and finish off, let's say, uh, my other brother over here in Scotland so that we don't have to worry about him. We could subjugate this person, and subjugating him would get me a pretty hefty amount of land. That said, um, we would make him my vassal, my nephew, and that doesn't seem great to me only because he's going to cause problems. This is a known fact. So I think instead, we're gonna go ahead and just try to knock out something large, like let's say the Jarldom of Moray or something like that. That could be kind of okay. How many provinces do we get out of that? One, two, three, four. Oh, that seems like a lot, actually. Do we get like five? That seems good. It seems really good. Okay, we're gonna conquer a duchy, and I'm gonna try to conquer the Jarldom of Moray, and it's gonna cost me 250 piety. Oh, when you get out of bed and a Viking takes your head, that's some Moray. It's not a good version of that song, is it? No. Let's go ahead and raise up all the armies. Here's a fun thing. It doesn't matter if my music makes any sense because you're dead. That's how it's going to work. Let's go ahead and march in here. And we're just going to take on his uh, capital territory like right off the bat. And we'll just go ahead and siege this down for good measure. But I mean, we do need to get into the actual claimed territory at some point. But it certainly does help to make him extra, extra weak in his own homeland. That gets me plenty of war score, especially if I can capture some of his will women or his children. Good lord, I might even take a couple as a concubine. I don't know. Yeah, you remember that time I could have taken a witch as a concubine in the first episode and I totally overlooked the fact that she was beautiful? Yeah, yeah, I was way too worried about her witchiness. That was silly. Should have taken that. Oh, well, lessons learned. Not like I needed any more children anyway, am I right? Okay, so they're trying to siege some stuff down, aren't they? No, I don't know who these people are, but they're over in Lothian. That's not what I'm worried about. Actually, it looks to me like Scotland might be fighting a separate war entirely. Who even are these people? The Yardom of Moray is sieging down... I think the Jarldom of Moray is trying to become independent. It's a Gaelic Catholic uprising. Oh good, the Catholics are working on my side for once. That's hilarious. Okay, well let's go ahead and just siege down a couple other little tribes here and there. We'll go to Banff. Banff seems fine. No worried about Banff. We'll just pop up over here and siege a couple things down, then work our way over to Moray. Now, we do have an extra trait to work with. We can go for Never Back Down, which reduces friendly casualties and gives me extra... Uh, advantage, which is pretty darn good. Then get down to Kingsguard, which gets me even more knights and or champions, as they prefer to be called in the Viking culture, which just means I'm gonna have even more ridiculous stacked up modifiers that let me crush everyone in sight. Be great. Offer a concubine. You think who? Let's see, this person, this, this, this bisexual woman who is an albino would make a good concubine. You know, I appreciate um, the exotic nature of all that, but nah. Is she beautiful? Does she have traits that can be passed on to my children through a eugenics program? No? Well, then I don't think that I care. All right, let's see. Scotland appears to have consolidated some of their territory and finished some wars, so we're going to have to go deal with all his new territory now. Pop up over here, I suppose. This will be fine. We'll just go ahead and siege this. Annandale? You actually get Annandale? Gosh dang it. Scotland is now too big and scary. Well, they're not scary. You know what I mean, though. They've got too much stuff all of a sudden. They got all these little guys. I could have had a whole bunch of separate wars against one province miners. Now that's not going to be an option. Gosh dang it, that maketh me sad. A curse has been undone. Oh, okay. The curse has been lifted. I will lose some stress because my rival is dead. I didn't even know I had a rival. I've been distracted, if you didn't know. All right. Well, now we're sitting at 70% war score. That's about to jump up a little bit more. And a Badoinkus, that's 92%. Let's see if we can scare off his armies. My counselor died. My acquaintance died. We've increased a military presence. That's all good. Hey, we need a new steward. We'll go ahead and assign my vassal and champion. This person right here. Yes. He'll make for a fantastic steward. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and march directly in here and just get a few extra kills. Oh, uh, wait, never mind. They're on... Ah, uh, I don't really care about killing your raiders, but you know what? It's a good... It's a sign of goodwill for the people of Scotland, I'm sure. Or something. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and move down to the south. If I can just crush this army, I'm pretty sure we'll have him. He may siege down one thing. Unless I pop in here, but I think that it's not enough time for reinforcements in the mountains of Sc Scotland, or the Highlands, I guess. Take a little bit too long. 
Then we pop in over here. Now we should be able to arrive in time. Boom, no siege for you. Bye, sucker. All right, we got prisoners. Earl Siegfried. That's not worth a lot of money, is it? Ooh, but I do not want to be a familiar Kingslayer now, do I? 100 gold. Heck yes, I'll take the 100 gold. 25? Heck yes, I'll take the 25. 10? Mm. I don't know. I guess we'll go ahead and ransom out the 8, even if you're not worth a whole lot to me. It's probably fine. And yeah, it's probably good enough. Let's just go ahead and enforce our demands. And boom! We get ourselves a whole nother chunk of Scotland. All right, so things are looking real good over there. You're down to only a thousand men, and you are still fighting in some sort of a war. I think you're defending one of my allies over here, which I consider to be a little hilarious, but okay. Let's go ahead and hand off some of this territory. Uh, who are we gonna hand it off to? How about somebody with really good diplomacy skill? Yeah, you'll do fine. Just in case I find that I need some new counselors. Beyond that, though, I think we mostly still care about things like prowess. So go ahead and take you, a Herculean man. That guy's gonna have some serious prowess behind him. I like that. And what about you, too? Sure, why not? Boom, there we go. All right, so let's take a look at our knights. We got 13 champions. Oh my god, 39 prowess. That is... <laughs> that is scary. Not to mention, I've got 240% knight effectiveness. My god. That's... That is, like, sickeningly good. That is absurdly good. <laughs> Wowzes. All right. Cool. So, yeah, 13 really good knights are on my side. What else should we do? Let's see. The survey. You look like an independent man with only 67 men. You're allied to Sweden. Aw, but there's a truce. Aw, that sucks. Empire titles, by the way. Just making sure that these uh, two little provinces over here do not count, which they do not, so that is good. Let's go ahead and move our rally point over into England proper, doink. And who can we fight? Well, probably not Lancaster. Oh, we can, actually. I thought maybe we would have a truce with them, but apparently we do not. That's excellent. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and take you on. What do you got? We could take on four provinces in total. If I were to go for the duchy title, it would only cost me some piety, so I guess we should go for as much as possible. We'll go ahead and try to take over Lancaster. Three provinces, actually, even better. But Doinkus, and let's raise up the armies and declare war again! And the people of Sigurd's rule said, why if the frick are we still at war all the time? To which I said, why not? I too cheer my champions. Make my spouse happy or gain prestige? Prestige it is! We don't care. Who cares what my wife thinks about me? They're replaceable or something, probably, right? It's actually a horrible thing to say, but welcome to Crusader Kings 3. These things do sometimes happen. Let's go ahead and siege down this guy since he decided to join a war against me and I don't appreciate it none. He is running away like a coward. That's excellent. Let's go over here into Westmoreland. Alliance invalid. Um, who are you? I do not know who you are. Have I lost some important alliances? I, I have a hard time keeping track. We kept our alliance with Vastergotland, who apparently has eaten the entirety of Smallland. Okay, so now we have one actually really strong ally. Two strong allies over here, guys. This works. Forget Sweden. Sweden sucks. I chose the right horses to bet on, that's for sure. Extra taxes, too. My gah. It just it keeps it going. I'd like to build some things down here in Jorvik, but I guess I can't anytime soon. What about over here? You know what? Let's go ahead and build at a war camp. That seems fine. I mean, we're gonna hold on to at least one territory over in Ireland, right? Gotta make sure those Irish know that I'm in charge. Oh, how did we get this province? I don't know who was over here, and I don't know how we got it, but somehow we got the rest of Ireland under me. Okay, somebody willingly joined. Well, that's cool. I don't remember attending any sort of fealty uh, ceremonies. Too many held duchies. <laughs> Whatever. Do I even look like somebody who cares? Not at all. Not at all. Let's go ahead and move this guy down here and kill these guys around Jorvik. I don't want them sieging this. He's going to run away. To my liege. Uh, sure. I will attend a, the party of a, a tiny child. It's probably like... What is it? A birthday party? Is that what's going on? Why did you get off of the boats? You should have run. Okay. Well, they are dead now. That was easy. All right. Let's go ahead and pop over here and we'll siege down your capital. Some longhouses have been constructed, which means even more levy. I'm sitting at about 7,200 now. That's good, and the counselor has died. I keep losing marshals all of a sudden. It makes me sad. We'll put you in charge. 18? Sure. I have outlived another child. Uh, Earl Svein has been murdered. Isn't that the guy that I, like, gave some territory up in, like, Scotland or something? Who would murder such a child? Uh, I don't know. I've got plenty to spare. Who's even worried? Another counselor is dead? Good lord, you guys just can't seem to stay alive. My spy masters are constantly dying. Tell you what, let's get another one. 
You'll do fine. 24 Intrigue is unbelievably good. Hey, I have prisoners. Are they Christians? Can I murder them? First, let's check for ransoms. Yes. Yes. And what about you? You are not Christian, but I will kill you nonetheless because I need to keep that dread nice and high. It keeps people out of factions. Speaking of which, we definitely have some factions, namely Catholics. The Catholics are going to be a problem, it would appear. Okay, well, let's go ahead and enforce these demands, and boom. Oh, and apparently I'm being raided because I can't disband my troops anymore. Hang on. We can deal with this. It's the Scots. The Scots decided to come and raid. How foolish you are. Your men are dead now. Have fun with that arrangement. Uh, I can't disband my troops. Yes, I can. Thank you. There we go. Much better. All right, Lancaster and Jerby. Wherever you're supposed to call that. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to hand stuff off to my son. He's already going to get lots of this land later. And it's just going to make things complicated later, right? Go ahead and hand this off to you. Boom, there we go. All right, now what do we want to do? Woo, it looks like Wales appears to actually be consolidating some of their territory. How adorable. Um, I can't attack you for a bit. And I can't attack you because we just finished. So I guess the next person to kill is going to be Mercia himself, who is allied to Staffordshire and not to Wessex, which means you are what we call easy pickings. So I'm going to go ahead and do a kill. I'm going to take the entirety of Mercia. Boom! Raise the armies! We are once again at war. This time against the petty king of Mercia, Bjornrid. Are you Christian? I could really use some stress reduction. I need to work off some steam. So if you don't mind being Christian, please. If you aren't Christian, can you convert real quick? Is that too much to ask? Is that inappropriate? Have I offended you in some way? Possibly. Far from home. Um, let's see. High Chiefess of Lower Silesia. Okay, she's Polish. Why do I care about you? She becomes my courtier. I, I, well, I mean, I guess, I guess embrace Odin. Any opportunity to make someone convert their faith just makes Sigurd so happy. We have a new perk. All right, let's go for Kingsguard. What does that mean? It means that I got four more knights. My champions go up to 17. 17, I tell you, recruit this person. Seven gold is easy. Absolutely. All right, so this now gets up to 14. We have four unraised knights. We'll fix that later. A spouse has grown fond of one of our children or something. I don't know. Do you think I care? How about my son? I'm just going to take the prestige. I could not possibly care less. All right, so we got that taken care of. Question, am I leading a charge on any of this? Oh, thank you for killing my raiders, by the way. That was really cute. That was very nice of you. Very generous. Um, let's see if we can go scare you off. Says that we should be able to win that pretty easily with me in charge, of course. He is running away. Fine. Go into even less defensible territory. See how well that goes for you. Let's go over here to Leicestershire, or however you say that. English names are weird. I mean, to me, this is Shire. All right, it ain't sure. But some people seem to call it these things. Who the heck are you? The petty kingdom of Wessex has decided to also attack Mercia. Well, that's amusing. I don't really want to fight you. So if you would please stay the frick away. Go away. Back off. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. Someone has joined the conquest. Who are you? Upper Lorraine. <laughs> As if I care. Hey, look. People we can ransom. Let's do it. Also, Christians. Execute. Another one. Execute. <laughs> yes. Yes. My devotion to Tyre is incredible. Or Tyr. I, I don't know how you pronounce his name. It's one of the freaking Norse gods. Another child grows of age. I don't care. Who are you? I'm old and senile. I don't get... Another person has joined the war against me. That's cute. Are we going to get called into, like, a war against Wessex early or something? It's a good thing I got lots of troops. You know what we could do? Just smash some of these troops if we can find him. I need to back off where I get some supply because I'm apparently uh, starving. Greetings, my liege. Sure, more parties sound good. Sure, someone will be there. I'm sure. I don't care. All right, we've won this war. Question, can I get in here and kill you? Oh, you appear to have given... You took territory as well. Okay, so Wessex apparently grows. That's great. Any more prisoners before I end this? Yes, a child with 25 gold. What about you? You're not worth anything. Very well, you're worth death. Perfect. All right, now we go ahead and enforce demands, and boom. I take a much larger chunk of England. So Wessex, hi, how are you? You seem like a fun person. Who are you allied to? Cornwall. <laughs> Cornwall, with their 382 men, is going to make such a huge difference in the end now, ain't it? Uh, we're going to go ahead and hand a lot of this territory off, I do believe. I wish I could just auto-assign some of this. Tell you what, 
my big beautiful child of a concubine. We're going to let you actually like carve out a destiny. I'm going to give you this and this. Two of them. Have fun. You can take both and maybe form a duchy title or something someday. I don't know. What about this guy? You can go here and I could use some more high prowess characters. What about you? Boom. There we go. Now we disband the troops and I decide where else I want to go. Do we want to just take out East Anglia since they have basically nothing to work with? Yeah, we certainly could do that. What about the uh, what about the um, the Welsh? Eh, I got a few men over here, but let's see. East Anglia has two territories. If I declare war on you and try to conquer the duchy, we could do that pretty easily for 375 prestige. I'll do it. I'll heckin' do it again! You better believe it! Let's get over here and siege that, and then send you, whoop, right, right, you, and go and siege this. And I don't even need to worry really about finding him or anything. And I'm pretty sure if he if he has his army here, it's gonna be a literal speed bump. Deliver a speech again, yes! People are so inspired by me. And the child who just came of age that I've already forgotten. Grilla, I think was her name? I don't know. Can call in dynasty members. Oh right, I forgot. I am the leader of the dynasty, which means members of my family are obligated to join in on wars if I so desire. How hilarious. Well, I don't need that help, but thank you. Prisoners taken. I love prisoners. Prisoners are great, especially when they're worth something. No money, therefore death. Bye, Christians. All right, let's enforce those demands. That was a splendid little war. Already over. Took practically no time at all. Let's get some more martial characters. I need some... Ooh, there we go. There we go. Some good martial characters. Yes. They may look for fantastic marshals later if I if they ever die again, which, let's be honest, they probably will. Okay, so that's all taken care of. Kent and Wessex are now independent of each other. Well, how hilarious is that? You're telling me that actually they're both actually about as strong... Well, no, they're not quite as strong as Wessex was before. Yeah, no, now I only have to fight one at a time. Well, I take that back. They're allied to each other, so that's not entirely true, but... Would have been hilarious if it were, right? Uh, Scotland, I can attack you. Yeah, I totally can. Um, I think you should just... I think you should just go ahead and accept your fate and be mine. Have you considered that as an option? I'm gonna go ahead and take Northumbria. Yep. I want it. Give it, give it to me. Uh, okay, so you're rallying up some troops, but I rallied up fast enough that I'm not in any danger, so let's just go ahead and march on up over here. And march on up over here. And we'll just go ahead and take all this nonsense. Keep working on Scotland, keep taking everything. Remember, we're trying to take over the entirety of Britannia. Every single province must be mine in some way or another. That is the entire point of the achievement. It would be awesome to do it before Sigurd dies, but granted, he is 62 years old, so it might be a little hard to pull that off. And uh, it's kind of hard to chain wars as effectively as you might like in CK3, as opposed to other things. Or rather, unlike EU4, where I can fight five wars at once, I don't know if it's something you really are considered advisable in CK3. Maybe I could. I don't know. Eh. Anyway, spouse, the guard. Gain men. Uh, no, I'd rather gain a personal guard. Thank you. Secret exposed. Um, accusations or lies. They're probably true, but I don't care. Martial lifestyle perk. Okay, how about we go for Bellum Justum for the Cassispelli reduction, just in case I do desire it. Then we can work down things like organized march and stuff and just make my armies more effective. Because why not? We might as well, right? Let's go ahead and march up over that direction. We'll need to probably stop him. Of course I'm being invited to more children's parties. My gosh. For some reason, I am, like, really beloved by children. Maybe because I have so many of them myself. I don't know. But there's a many a child who seems to like me. They look up to me and they invite me to all sorts of parties. Now, do I really want to go to those parties? No, not really. But there we go. Oh, good. Jillian wants to conquer Mecklenburg again from the East Francians. Have fun. I don't really plan on getting involved, but have fun nonetheless. Have fun storming the castle. Probably. All right, Scots, time to die. Bye, thank you. And we are about to siege down one more thing. Boom, there it goes. And do we have any prisoners? Oh, yes, we do. Ransom them. Execute the Christian. Execute the Christian. Execute the non-Christian anyway. There we go. Problem solved. Scotland, we're done, right? Boom, thank you. Okay, so I take all of this. It looks like I just took a bunch of vassals, though. I did not uh, take them for myself. So I don't have to worry about my holdings. And it looks to me like Jelland has decided to attack... I guess it's Pomerania, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we're not fighting East Francia. We're fighting Pomerania. That's an easy one. Oh, God, East Francia blew up. So did West Francia, actually. Aquitaine exists as an independent nation and everything. I haven't even been looking at the world. I've been so fixated on the <clears throat> Irish... Irish, totally Irish conquests. They haven't even seen what's going on over here. 
Uh, Cheshire appears to be independent. How cute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and disband all my armies. Question, can I declare multiple wars at once? Because this is taking too long now. I need to see if we can. My armies are raised. Are they? Oh, they are. Hang on. Move over here, please. And then disband. Thank you. Okay, good. Now, can we declare war on... Oh, that was a truce. Fine. Can I declare war on you? And we will take over... Ugh. How many provinces are in man? Hang on. Uh... One, it looks like. So there's not much point. All right, fine. I guess we'll just go ahead and attack you for one. This one right over here. That'll work. Only 38. Bellum Justin reduces the cost of the prestige? I thought it only affected gold. I'm stupid. Of course it affects the prestige. Oh, well, that's actually pretty darn nice, ain't it? Hey, question. Can I also fight against... Um... 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 Ken? Wessex? Invade kingdom. Take the kingdom of England. Oh, frick yes. Wait a minute. How many provinces do you have? Let's see. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in there, as opposed to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I think it'd be even better to take it against Kent. Invade the kingdom of Kent. Oh, frickin' heck yes, dude. This is the way to go. Absolutely. All right, but we'll save that for a minute. Let's go ahead and... Attack you at the same time. And we'll take your entire duchy. There. Okay, so I'm fighting two wars at once, which is what I wanted to do. We'll just go ahead and finish off Wales nice and quick. We'll do the invasion to take out the entirety of Kent. One huge chunk of land will go to me nice and fast. It actually would have been nice if Wessex was still one United Kingdom. I could have taken them all down in one fell swoop. That would have been pretty outstanding. Was that an option for me? Nope. Get down over here and scare these guys away a little bit. Oh, good, more children. You were pregnant? Hmm, that's exciting. Extort subjects, absolutely. Why? I don't know. I don't need to I don't need to do that. We're just gonna. Powerful vassals, he's angry at me. What's his name? I don't even care. I'm just gonna go ahead and siege him down. So we'll go ahead and take this real quick. More children are being returned. Apparently, someone's capturing all my kids. I don't really know how this is happening, but they're finding a way. Get over there, get up over here, boop, boop. Okay, we're up to 19% war score. Obviously not enough. We're going to need to siege some stuff down if possible. Queen encourages chivalry and gets me another 150 prestige. That's like a whole nother duchy woman. You're amazing. Good lord. <laughs> She's going to let me conquer so much land. Who's sieging down Carrick? What are you guys doing up there? Get the frick out. All right, fine. Accusations are not but lies. I don't care. My sinful acts come at a cost. Oh no, I lose some piety. Whatever. All right, so that's going to be 82%. Rest for the weary. Sweaty, tired, in need of food, a long day of training. We search for a place to spot camp, and I find an abandoned castle. This is where we shall make our camp. Um, okay. Venture inside. What do we find? Something in the unknown. We can search the upper floors and find money, or we can become brave. I would like to become brave. I am brave. Toward the end of his life, the old man Sigurd snake in the eyes like, Yeah, dude. Let's just go explore the haunted castles or something. This will be great. And it worked, and we're now brave. We didn't find anything, but who cares? A concubine? Mm, who are you? Well, you're a fornicator and you're a hunchback. Yeah, no, 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 and no, also no. That is, frankly, borderline insulting that you even gave her to me. I mean, all respect and everything, but, like, at the same time, heck and heck, dude. No, 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 no. All right, let's go ahead and move you down over this way. Yes, I know that he's sieging down my land over here. It's annoying, but I don't care. It's not my territory. I mean, it is, but, like... Whatever. Someone became my steward. How did that happen? I don't know. You have prisoners? Absolutely we do. Um, you're not worth any money, and you are. Perfect. And then execute, and then execute. Goodbye. Oh, sure, we could take some of them as, like, you know, concubines or something. I know that's an option, but, I mean, meh. Um, okay, apparently we need to siege down one more territory and or fight somebody. Someone might join an Irish conquest. Might. Mm, yeah, I might, but I mean, the war's over now, so we'll go ahead and enforce those demands. That's only one county. You might as well give it up. And then we're just going to sit over here for a minute, and we're going to siege all this stuff down. Uh, okay, well, this is going to be fun. Mm, Catholics. Yeah, let's, um, we have, to, we have to deal with this, unfortunately. So let's just end our war first, and then we'll see what the, cha uh, the oh, gosh, my son's dead. Uh, we will see what ends up coming out of this. So, hang on. A lot of my stuff is under siege. There are quite a few angry Catholics, apparently. 
More important that we end this war first, though, and then I'll go deal with the nonsense. I mean, we have, like, bonuses that make it really easy to deal with them, right? Let's do an ornate sailing ship for my son. Uh, although, I have no proper heir anymore, do I? Who's my heir? My grandson with diplomat skill. Ah, oh, that's just... No. No, 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 no. Who are you? You? Really? Wait, you serve Scotland now? How the frickin' heck in heck? Right, okay. Well, somehow, something got messed up, and my son is... Well, my grandson is my heir, and that's not what I want at all. Okay, I lose a lot of stress and stuff. Um, escaped thrall. Hmm. I guess I'll go for... 78% chance of success? If I die, do I'm not gonna lose the game, right? No? Uh, movement speed. Or wait, nope, wait. Siege weapon effect. We don't have siege weapons. Organized march. That'll work. Okay, hang on. We need to siege down just a couple more things. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have you move on, because you've taken massive amounts of attrition. So I need to go and deal with Scotland nice and quick, because, uh, well, we're gonna have some problems in a minute as far as succession. There we go. Just go ahead and end the warp. Doink. Thank you. Okay, can I disband my troops now, please? Thank you. Okay, we've lost quite a bit of our levy all of a sudden. Which is not the best situation to be in. Um, so, Kent. I'll have to fight all of you. And that is admittedly going to be a little bit of a problem. I've also... Oh, I forgot. I have a, I have a rebellion. Also, apparently my uh, buddy is dead. How... How did this happen? How did Vaster Gotland die? I don't know. He found a way to die and now Sweden is powerful again. Gosh dang. Fine. You know what? We're going to sway you for a bit or something. I don't know. We're just going to try to make you like us. Uh, right. So I need to raise all armies, huh? Right, right, right. So let's go ahead and move you down over here or something. That's fine. Let's go ahead and hand off some of this territory. Presumably we want to get more martial skill. Uh, poet? I guess that's fine. I don't know. A Norse Viking poet should be good. Shrewsbury. There you go. That'll be fine. Okay. We're back down to our proper domain limit. Then we're going to have to raise up the armies. And then go and deal with a load of angry Catholics. Like a lot of them. Lots of angry Catholics. Uh, let's just spend some money to make sure that somebody likes me more. Uh, and somebody gets an army? Okay, a holy order of my faith and I become a patron. Sure. I guess. Question mark? That sounds like a lot of fun. The armies take way too long to muster now, by the way. All right, let's go ahead and move over here. We'll deal with all of these guys. Squish, squish, and that ends that. Thank you. Spant, and we're good. Okay, all is well. So, Scotland, hi. Um, You aren't allowed to have this anymore. I just want to make this very clear. I have to go take down Moray. Uh, this is just to conquer my freaking grandson back. Very annoying to me. Very annoying. Hang on. Um, how many provinces are even in here? It's just one. Ugh. 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 This sucks. Can't I just... If I subjugate you, what happens? Take his primary title. You know what? I can't do... It's not that I can only do this once per life, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm just subjugating this guy. Screw it. Subjugate him. I'm gonna take your kingdom title and everything. It'll be great. All right, so one of you get up over here. Uh, let's see, right click. No, shift click to deselect, and then one of you get up over here, and then one of you get up over here. All right, we gotta end this video here. I'm gonna subjugate Scotland so that my grandson is properly under my control so that I can control his destiny. Um, he's gonna be a terrible character. Sigurd, live for a bit longer, please. You are way too good for me to waste. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.